I wanted to make a video dedicated to our dog who passed away a week ago. Um, I am having a really hard time and just really struggling with accepting that she is gone. And so today uh, Alistair is at my mom's house and I thought maybe I could try you know making a video for her and go through all of our videos and pictures and gather a bunch of things that make me happy and things that I can always look back on and just feel so good that I got to spend the time with her that I did so here I am I'm just gonna talk a little bit about her so uh, I got Zoe about 11 years ago it's crazy to think that it's been that long and her and I we just totally became attached uh she came everywhere with me we i would take her shopping take her to the mall take her on road trips uh basically everywhere that i went she came with me i was just thinking back to when i was pregnant with alistair uh zoe totally knew that i was pregnant before we even knew she was so protective of my stomach and there was a huge change like in her personality and after we had found out I was pregnant we kind of looked back and we were like oh gosh she definitely knew and that entire pregnancy she was just a little protector of my tummy she was extra connected with me and then I remember right before I was about to give birth to Alistair not like that day but close to the end of the pregnancy she became super nervous to be around me and it must have just been that my hormones were all changing and um yeah she wouldn't have anything to do with me she was she would bark at me and everything but once we came home with Alistair from the hospital uh, she was just right back to being super attached and thinking today how sad it's going to be like if if I get pregnant again that I won't have that cute little protector and I wish there was a way to make it easier and to take the hurt away and I know that things will get easier it's only been a week but it just really sucks the only reason that I'm hurting so much is because I loved her so much and how awesome that I got to have that deep of a connection with someone for the last 11 years of my life. I'm going to miss the things that I always thought of as annoying. Like when my mom was coming over, somehow Zoe always, always knew that my mom was coming over and she would seriously start barking like 30 minutes before my mom got here. And it was the weirdest thing, but it happened every single time. And uh, her and my mom were also super, super close. My mom was like her second mom. So I just wanted to share these memories and share with you how I'm feeling and stuff. Uh, I just can't, I've tried vlogging a few times and I'm just not quite ready. I'm just crying way too much still. So, yeah, I hope that you guys will watch the rest of this video. I found a bunch of cute little pictures and videos that I loved of her. So, enough talking. Let's get into the rest of the video. Bye, guys. He's kind of mean with me. Ooh, aren't you guys cute? Hello. That's a fake sneeze. That's a fake sneeze. That's a fake sneeze. She does do fake sneezes. Is Zoe working out on the yoga mat? Oh, yes, she is. So, so, what are you doing today? Sit, Shay. Oh, what a sweet girl you are. Hi. Oh, you look like you're crying. Zoe's jealous that I'm paying attention to my camera. I'm not even joking. She's really obsessed with me. And I have a little doggy with me now because she's walking around making annoying noises. So you're gonna sit here. So, so. We got Zoe so she's safe. Stay still, though. Stay still. Stay still, though. <laughs> Stay still. Stay good girl. She does not want to be cuddling with brother. Yes, oh. she does. He just doesn't think I'm her brother. What does she think you are? She thinks I'm a babysitter. <laughs> Zoe, are you nervous? 
Okay, do you did you trap Zoe in with pillows? Yeah. So that she didn't leave? Oh, look at you found out. I found oh, the lost creature. The lost creature. It looks a little bit overweight, so looks like she's found a food source. He's on. She He's it, purple. <laughs> so here she is. <laughs> and Alistair really wanted to bring Zoe with us. Hi. So we are bringing Zoe along. Girl, she's home. She's in like a hundred blankets. Probably need to unwrap her since she has a fever, but it was cold in the car. Oh, sweet girl. All right, a little update on Zoe. We're getting ready to go to bed and she does not have a fever now or it's super, super low. Um, and she has been drinking water, so she's definitely not feeling well still, but not any worse. Even a little better. So hopefully she sleeps well tonight and we will reassess tomorrow. Poor girl. It's so sad because she like can't tell us what's wrong and oh. Reminds me of when Allie was a little baby and he, if he got sick, it was always so terrible just not knowing what was going on. Why do you want to cuddle with her so bad right now? Well, because she's my baby. 